This is Steve, and I'm here with Timothy Smith, who is a Republican, and he's running for the Wayne Township trustee uh, position here in November on the election. Uh, Timothy, we appreciate your time. Thank you. I uh, want to talk a little bit about uh, your campaign, and uh, why don't we talk a little bit about your background? Well, currently I'm the social service director for the Salvation Army here in Fort Wayne. I've been there for a few years. Uh, previous to that, I was a employee at the Wayne Township trustee office. Um, and throughout my life, I've always been in social services, really. Uh, my mother was a pastor. Ever since I was in grade school, I've been volunteering at food pantries and, and whatnot. So uh, social services has really been a part of my life. Mm -hmm. so, I also hold a bachelor's degree in liberal arts uh, with a minor in psychology, uh, as well as training in things such as uh, family development and uh, things like that. So you'd bring that social service aspect or background to the, to the township trustee office. Agreed. I, uh, you know, I think uh, social services is definitely a passion for somebody. It's not something you just do for a job or whatnot. You really have to be committed to what you know, helping individuals and, and trying to improve your community. Okay. What do you see as the, the, the issues right now in this election between yourself and Rick Stevenson? Uh, the, the primary issue I see is efficiency. Um, I think a government office needs to be run very efficiently, um, not only because it's funded by taxpayers and we want to make sure that every dollar goes as far as it can, but to make sure that money goes back out into the community where it's assisting individuals. And right now, I just think that the administrative costs at the township are above what they should be. Um, um, apart from that, um, I see programs that have been let go, and I think that they need to be brought back. And I think you can do that through creating an efficient system where you're saving money in certain places, eliminating waste. We can bring those services back to the community. And finally, I think collaboration is something that really needs to be brought to the township. If you've got a lot of social service agencies that are working in Wayne Township, offering the same services, instead of duplicating, we need to work together and collaborate and bring a more comprehensive service to the people that we are helping. How, how would you do that as far as the collaboration between agencies? Well, for example, there are agencies that offer <clears throat> financial literacy and job training. And I know those classes aren't full. I've talked to those organizations and found that out. And if, uh, say, Wayne Township offers things like that as classes, well, why not combine our resources and have one place, you know, offering those classes for all of the clients from each organization, and then you only have to do it once instead of twice, and you're saving money, and you're creating a more efficient system where you have more funds to assist the individuals that you're trying to help. Mm -hmm. Something that maybe you can give me some perspective on, it, since you've worked in the township office, is, is that any kind of a requirement now for receiving aid? Do they, do they require that you go to certain classes or fulfill certain requirements? Well, uh, the township trustee uh, does require, um, you know, several things when you're getting assistance. One is that you're looking for a job, and, and there are job training classes there, and that's not unacceptable. I think, you know, if you're if you're able to work, that you should be active, and you should be able to show the township that you're actively seeking employment. Mm -hmm. Talking a little bit about efficiencies in, in the Wayne in the Wayne Township trustee office, um, and you've talked about bringing some different agencies together, offering classes in one spot. Um, anything else that you can think of that you'd like to see maybe that you'd like to try? As far as collaboration? Yes. Well, I fortunately over the last few years as being a representative for the Salvation Army in the social service community, I've been a part of the case coordination system, uh, which is several agencies that come together and try and uh, combine our resources and, uh, and try and bring, like I said, a more comprehensive service. I've also been a part of the Community Access Network, uh, which came out of the Social Service Summit uh, that Mayor Henry put together a couple years ago. Uh, and currently, I'm working on a, uh, a website that should be a communication portal for social service agencies throughout the community of Fort Wayne in order to exchange information. Uh, it's one of the ideas that came out of the Access Network. Uh, and we're trying to push that through and, and get those those uh, agencies talking to each other. How much um, interaction is there between the township and United Way, for instance, since they're one of the bigger uh, agencies here in town? 
Well, I'm not sure. Um, or even we could open uh, that up and say Salvation Army. Well, with social service agencies in general, it, they there is a, a quite a bit of a connection between the township trustee and those agencies because usually the trustee is considered the first line of defense when somebody needs help. And they go there, and if the trustee can't help them, then you've got these social service agencies behind there in order to you know, catch the people that are falling through the cracks and, and try and make sure everybody gets help. Mm -hmm. Are there a lot of people that fall through the cracks? Yes. And, and <clears throat> that's, that's really one of the reasons why I see efficiency as such an important thing with the township because if they don't get assistance at the township, then they're going to be going to these agencies, you know, which are a lot of them charities or they get their money from foundations and things like that. This is the money that we give to these agencies. And if, and if they're less people being served at the township or they're not being served as much as they were before, now that obligation falls on to these nonprofit organizations. Mm -hmm. I guess that kind of leads into to a question that was raised with the uh, Kernan Shepherd report, which would looked at, looked at all areas of government, state, local, township, mm -hmm. uh, and, and said, you know, these are the changes that we think would be for the better as far as making government more efficient, uh, having to tech, take less money from taxpayers. One of the areas that they looked at hardly was, uh, in a hard way, was the township level. Um, they proposed doing away with township government. Um, what are the advantages, where do you weigh in on that, I guess, first of all? I, it, it's a complicated issue. You know, you, you've got 1,008 townships in Indiana, so you've got 1,008 trustees, and then you've got three board members for every township. That's a lot of government officials right there. You know. So, you know, we've got a lot of things going on, and, uh, and sometimes they're smaller townships, and uh, they're not quite recognized on what's going on as far as uh, accountability, things like that. And, you know, like I've said before, I'm, I'm really big on efficiency. Um, and I think that if you brought it to a larger perspective, there'd also be more accountability. That being said, I believe that we need a plan before we go to this. Now, there's a, there's a short plan about township trustees in the Kern Shepherd uh, proposal, but I think that it needs to be a, examined a little bit more because one of the nice things about the trustee's office is that it's very grassroots and it's very localized. You know, one part of a city, such as Fort Wayne, um, can be completely different than another part of the city. You can't just generalize the entire county as being the average person. So, uh, am I in support of creating a more efficient government? Absolutely. Do we need to look into it a little bit more before we make this decision and just jump in? Yes, we do. Mm 